Hey YouTube people, today we're going to take a look at an older AORS gaming box, this is the 1080 version, and how you can upgrade it to a current generation 3000 series RTX GeForce. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to use this, the Dual RTX 3060. It is uh, a really good size. You have to be careful, this is no large boy. This is a very small eGPU setup, but quite powerful. Uh, in fact, it's it's probably the most power per volume uh, eGPU out there without getting custom. Um, and it's really great. I mean, if you compare this to something like, here's the Zotac eGPU box, which is just massive. Um, so in fact, the the ORS in this little bag is much smaller and portable than uh, most eGPU devices. Now, some people don't need that. Some people use an eGPU uh, because they're on a Mac and they're using Boot Camp with Windows. Uh, some people want to boost the power of their devices. And now that the Surface Pro and the Surface Studio laptop have eGPU capabilities with their Thunderbolt 4 ports, um, I figured it's a good time to explore eGPU. But I didn't want just the 1070 or the 1080 Oros box, so I picked this up, uh, so we're going to replace it. So I'll quit yapping and I'll take you to how I did it, because it works really well. Okay, so the hope is is that I can take this 3060, it's about the right size for this thing, and hopefully we can get it in there and replace the 1080. We'll gain, uh, go from 8 gigabytes to 12 gigabytes of RAM, uh, faster memory speed, and updated architecture. Hopefully we get more efficiency as well, because that's uh, one of the things I'm primarily concerned about. So let's take this thing apart and see how it goes. Okay, so we got this guy open, kind of dusty. Um, it has an 8-pin connector up here. Which I'm able to take out. A little cable there caught on the capacitor. Fan cable. But I've got it out. We'll be able to blow that out. Okay, time for moment of truth here. I'm going to take off these so they don't impede us. Looks like a good fit. In fact, that looks like a perfect fit. Got the ports, look exactly like it did before. And it fits really nicely. So let's go ahead and get it assembled and see what the performance looks like. Okay, so let's look at the benchmarks. Uh, first, we're going to look at its stock. That's that first line. It used on average 172 watts and had an average frame rate of 110 seconds. Uh, then what I did is I actually tuned for efficiency. Uh, on the 1080, I was, I was shooting for about 100 watts, and what I ended up with was a 105-watt average on that 1080. And surprisingly enough, uh, frame rates did not suffer very much. Uh, so it's actually surprising because the peak wattage of the 1080 stock was 190. 
Uh, but you could actually tune this thing so it didn't go above 105 watts, really, uh, and got roughly, uh, you know, we lost five frames. That's that's not a big deal, but a huge power saving. So that, that kind of surprised me a little bit. It might be because the memory is tuned really low on that 1080. Uh, when we put the 360 on it, it used on average 168 watts. So we shaved some watts off of the stock configuration 1080, but we also got a boost in frame rates up to 119.3 average frames per second. And when we tuned it for efficiency, trying to limit it to about 104 watts, on the 3060 I had to do this by doing a power limit of 58% and locking the peak clock at 1650. That gave me a peak wattage of 110 with an average of 104. And that gave us 110, roughly, uh, frames per second moving to the 3060. So we're not seeing a huge performance jump, but we are seeing a big efficiency jump. And keep in mind that this is just the first benchmark, and we're getting all the benefits of being on the latest um, RTX 3000 series. You get ray tracing with this. Let's go ahead and look at superposition now. Okay, and this benchmark, uh, the 1080 pulled on average 203 watts, uh, and it got a score of 13248. And once I tuned it for efficiency, uh, it used 104 watts and got 11414. Moving to the 3060, we got a better score only using 170 watts. So you see that 3060 starts to outperform uh, pretty handily that 1080. Uh, and once tuned for efficiency, that 3060 got a score of 12095 using only 104 watts. Uh, so that's that's really efficient. Uh, if you look at the stock 1080, we went from 65 points per watt uh, to the tuned 3060 getting 116 points per watt. So that's almost a doubling of efficiency uh, going from 1080 stock to 3060 uh, on that efficient mode. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, this is helpful to you to see that you can actually replace the GPU in an ROS gaming box with something a little more up to date. Uh, sometimes you can find these uh, broken on, on eBay, the GPUs burnt out or something like that. You can really uh, pop something in here. This 3060 uh, is the perfect size for it. There is a TI, a 3060 TI version of it. Uh, I don't think they made very many of them. I couldn't find one to source, but I do know it's out there. It would actually fit in this chassis, but you have to make sure you get the right one. Uh, make sure it matches the dimensional, uh, the same dimensions as the dual 3060. But anyways, uh, if you want to see how this performs with a Surface Laptop Studio or Surface Pro 8, I'll be doing some videos on that in the future. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And if you like this type of content, go ahead and give me a subscribe and a like. Talk to you later.